Now I'm sure you've heard that Dolly 3 is coming soon, but you can actually use it right now. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Now you'll see on OpenAI's website that ChatGPT Plus and Enterprise customers can use Dolly 3 in early October. It's currently early October. We haven't heard anything about that yet, so we can expect to see that official support here in the next you know, 15 days or so. And what's cool about Dolly 3 is it's built directly into ChatGPT. So you can just talk with ChatGPT and have it generate Dolly images without having to use two separate platforms. It's all built into one, which is really nice. But like I said, this is not out yet. People who are subscribed to ChatGPT Plus still don't have access to it. But we currently have access to Dolly 3 using the Bing AI. And you don't even have to pay for it, it's free to use. So I'm here on the Microsoft Bing Image Creator website, which I'll have linked down in the description below for you to check out. And you can see right up here, it says powered by Dolly 3. Now I have been testing this and running some images, but I'm gonna start a new one. Now I had ChatGPT generate this prompt, so let's go ahead and check it out. So you hit generate up here, and then it's going to work on generating that. Now, I have had a lot of struggles with this actually working because there's so many people trying to use it where the system got overrun, which is why over here on the right, there's a couple generations that didn't even complete all four because the system was overloaded and it just couldn't complete them. But I happen to find a pocket where things are actually generating for me. Who knows how long this pocket will be? Just know that you may experience some downtime because there's a lot of people trying to use it. But yeah, check it out. We got some pretty cool images that we couldn't do before with Dolly 2. Dolly 2 was not this good. So we have a huge upgrade and it's for free. And here's a uh, Street Performer one, which again, looks really good. It looks quite realistic. You'll probably find some deformities here and there, but that's just AI image generation. Overall, this looks really good. Here's some cute little watermelons. And then here's a beautiful island sunset. So you can really generate whatever you want, and it's going to generate something actually coherent. Not only that, if you use Microsoft Bing Chat, you can generate images straight in here already without, you know, ChatGPT is adding this functionality, but you can, you've been able to do it in the Bing chat, but now it is supported by Dolly 3, as you can see right here. So let's just try creating this. Before I was getting an error saying that the system was too busy. So we'll see if I end up getting that error with this, but it was working not too long ago. And there we go, it generated our results. Now these look really good. There's really good shadows and colors and just really good details as well. And what's cool about that is if you go back to the image creator and refresh the page, it loads all of it together. So whether you're using the image creator or Bing chat, it all works in the same platform so you can access them all right here. Now let's go ahead and try that same exact prompt in Dolly 2 and see the massive difference that we're gonna get here. So this is what we got in Dolly 2. You can barely make out that it's an actual snowman, like what happened here. As you could tell, a big difference between the two. This has so much more detail, and it's just gonna be a great update when it finally gets released to the wider you know, public and for use in ChatGPT as well. But if you've been looking to play around with it, just head over to Microsoft. If you like this style of content, go ahead and let us know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and let us know, what are you most excited for in AI right now? And as always, to discover more cool AI tools like this, check out our website at ai-search.io.